Hey friends, Catherine here. I'm going to be showing you how to fold another paper box. This one takes six squares of paper. So be ready with six squares of paper and let's get this started. You're going to start off with one square of paper and fold it in half so that it is a rectangle then unfold it and fold each of the outer edges that do not have a crease on them up to meet the crease in the center. Go. Don't worry if you don't catch this the first time. We're going to do it a second time, but we're going to do it faster the next time, so be prepared. Then we've got a sort of doorway here. We're going to take that from the unfolded end and take that up to meet the opposite side which makes it just a smaller square it's just a smaller square but we are going to unfold that then and from one of the folded sides bring that up to meet our center crease and put a crease down and then turn it around and do the same thing to the opposite one so that it comes up to meet that center crease and now we've got something that looks kind of like this. I don't know what this shape is called. I know that it has a name, but I don't know what it's called. Um, then we're going to unfold those folds. And we'll see we have these kind of short, tiny triangles on either side here. And we're going to take those and reverse their folds and tuck them underneath. There go reverse them and underneath and then we're going to take the larger triangle opposite that so this here and tuck it underneath that same place as well underneath and underneath get it all the way under there make sure everything just kind of lies down flat and even and then we've got a sort of pinwheel effect going on in the center here where it's got pockets that go all the way around. And for that, then what we're going to do is flip it over so that that's facing down. And with our extending corners, bring those over to match the opposite side so that when we fold it both in, we end up with a square again, an even smaller square. There we go. And that's what we're going to do for all six pieces of paper. So I've got four already pre-folded that way. We've got one that we've done, and we're going to do a second one exactly the same so that you can see the process over again. Take and fold it in half. Fold each of those half sections in half. Fold it in half the opposite direction. Make some triangles. Open those triangles back up and reverse the ends. Open it back up and reverse the ends so that they're tucked inside. All the way inside. Let's flatten it back down. Now we've got the pinwheel. Turn the pinwheel so it's facing the tabletop. And bring the outlying ends in so that we have a square. All right, so we've done it twice. Do it four more times so that you have a total of six. And now we are going to take and put them together. So for these, they stick into those pinwheel sections because those pinwheel sections are going to go to the outside. So they stick into those pinwheel sections on the outside 
of each. So we're just going to attach them all together in this way. Making sure to get our corners nice and tight and secure. Go. go down this one to the outside tight corners go there and there in there all right last one it goes in and under and in and under and I'll just tuck everything back in and tighten it all back up and there we have it one paper cube made out of six square pieces of paper and I cut down on the folding time because I had four of them pre-folded for you. Uh, that is what I did today. You could very easily, before you put the last one on, pop like a gift inside of it, like a necklace or a charm or something that you wanted to give to somebody. That would make an excellent gift box. Um, but this is what I did today. I hope you all liked it. If you did, leave a like and remember to subscribe. And I will see you all later. Bye!